Welcome back to Studio Lou. It's Cindy and welcome to Thrifty Thursday. I might have a little bit of a thrift today, <laughs> but we can blame this box. So <laughs> I was bidding on this, this um, box of glassine envelopes and I, um, I sort of got busy the night of the auction and I didn't really pay attention and I ended up winning it. So I typically like don't win most things I bid on because I kind of will put like an initial bid and I usually forget the auction's happening and then I will um, sometimes win something and then be like, oh, well, I guess I gotta go pick this up. So um, I also hadn't done a whole lot of thrifting. So I was like, oh, I'll stop into the thrift store. So I definitely found some fun stuff. So this is a whole box of glassine envelopes, like the ones that are used for stamp collectors. Um, and they're really nice. They're a little bit like, you know, worn and they're old. Um, they, they came in this box that was really gross. So I'm getting rid of the box. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's funny. I'll, I'll share something TMI with you and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, I used to work in a clothing store when I was a teenager and I had a wonderful boss and she was like a mentor for me. She taught me a whole lot about growing up. And um, one of the things she taught me about <laughs> that's like less savory is what fly poop looks like. And also what a chair rail is, the little rail that goes around the middle of like a room around sort of like the middle of where like, if you have a chair rail, it's sort of like the bottom of your wall will be made of one thing and then you'll have a chair rail on the top of your wall to ceiling will be something else. So she would ask me, oh, can you clean the fly poop off of the chair rail? And I remember the first time I was asked that, just kind of looking at her like, what are all of those things? Like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so these little tiny dots here, I think these are fly poop. <laughs> So this is probably sat somewhere like in a barn or in an old office and it's been pooped on by flies. So um, yeah, now you know what fly poop looks like and what a chair rail is. You're welcome. So that being said, I'm also, the, the bottom of the box is fine because it was like um, a sleeve box, right? So it was covered and, and the very bottom of it is not gross. So I'll be fine keeping this. I checked it for bugs. I made sure there was nothing in there. I've actually taken them all out, put them back all in. I've looked through them all because I get very paranoid about like um, weevils and things. I do not ever want to have any bugs in my, in my home. Um, that being said, let's move on. I got this little box of um, these fun paper clips. I rarely if ever see these. So they're called butterfly clips. And I had the funniest experience today. So when I went into the thrift store, um, there were two cashier type, you know, like people working at the cash. And then a manager came up and said, oh, um, can one of you lovely ladies go and, and then she gave them a bunch of like directions about like, organizing shelves and cleaning a bunch of stuff and so the one young girl who was kind of new at the store like she she was training she looked at me and kind of gave me like a half wink <laughs> so I came over to her register and I start loading up my stuff so she'd be saved from doing the chores so she looks at this and it was $2.99 and she's like $2.99 what she's like I'll bring this down for you a dollar like so she charged me 99 cents for it and I said I guess saving you from those chores was worth it thank you <laughs> <laughs> so she was cool um and then I got these these were a dollar and it's two boxes of these Avery fragile labels and I mean they're very loud they're bright orange and there's an absolute ton of them in here but I thought they could be pretty fun for like Halloween or um I'm gonna try like dyeing them and seeing I, I know I can change up that orange too and make them look really vintage and then I got this little this little thing that was, I, you know, it's funny. It was actually, it was stuffed in here. And tonight, just before I filmed the video, I wanted to open and look at these and I pulled this out. I didn't even know it was in there. Um, it's this little complaint. <laughs> it's like a little thing of complaints. I guess it's like cubicle notes from the knock, knock dot biz company. Um, pretty funny though. And then I found this, um, Mighty Samson. I haven't even opened it yet. I just grabbed it because it just looked funny. It's, I, I would like, I just laughed at it. I thought it was too funny. Um, I will keep this piece of uh, poster board at the back here because it's perfect for backing things on. 
and making spines and such. So Mighty Samson, the fabled unicorn, now a lethal radioactive mutant. <laughs> so it's a comic book, as you can see. And I just had, I, I just thought it was so funny. I'm like, what is this? Is this literally a gun ad for real? Okay. And it's like Canadian, which is even weirder. Oh, it's a BB gun. But I mean, still really weird to open up a comic book and be like, what is this? But it is from 1975. <laughs> I don't think you would see that today. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really funny comic. And I was like, what can I do with it? I don't know. It has an old like tricks cereal ad on the back, which is pretty fun. Look at this man, man handling this unicorn. <laughs> Uh, I hope the unicorn wins in the end. I am guessing he does. <laughs> but yeah, this is a funny old comic book um, that I was just kind of like, I think I just had to laugh at it, so I had to pick it up. And then, how strange. So last week in Thrifty Thursday, from a totally different store in a totally different city, I got some of these acetate letters. And then like I go to a totally, I mean, a city that's like super far away from the other one and I find them again and I've never seen these before. But like I said last week in my Thrifty Thursday, like I want to, um, you know, throw some alcohol ink on these and make them fun and like vintagey. And yeah, apparently they're just hunting me down now because I like them. Okay. And then a strange coincidence happened. Um, so this is one, I'll, if I find the other one, I'll show it to you. But as we were leaving, there were a bunch of Stampin' Up! stamps, woodblock stamps that were like across the street. We went across the street because we wanted to get drinks and out in the slushy parking lot, because it was a very snowy, yucky day today, there were like three, I think, of these little different Stampin' Up! woodblock stamps just laying in the parking lot. So my daughter saw them and she thought that I had dropped them. So she was picking them up and she's like, here, mom. And I was like, what are those? But I didn't even buy these. And so I don't know where they came from, but there's this little lighthouse, which is cute. Then I got these. I was so happy to find these. They had a bunch of these um, DMC. Um, they had a couple different sizes, but I just got the embroidery needles because I can always use more embroidery needles because I'm always, you know, doing embroidery, like slow stitching and all of that. So then I got a little thing of um, jumbo vintage paper clips. I like these, you know, ridgy kind of ones. These are kind of fun. And they have like a nice kind of patina to them. So those were fun. And then I found um, some nice brads, like they're like different colors, like brown, cream, white, black, gray, interesting color of brads. And then I had to pick up this card. So this is a gift card, but I just thought it was really cool. And I need a new one because my old one's getting pretty. These are my, this is my other ones. They're like, I mean, this one's really grungy. I should probably just get rid of it. It's really gross. I'll throw that one away. Um, actually, I should cut it because it was an old debit card. So let's just cut it. I don't think it would even work. I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't. And I don't even have this account number anymore. So but we'll just cut it up in case. And we'll cut right through this contactless antenna. Okay, so that's good. So yeah, use it, love it, thrift it, begin again. MCC Thrift Shops. I thought that was funny. So I can always use a new plastic card for smoothing things out. Then I found this amazing fabric. Okay, I shouldn't be. be I should not be buying fabric. I'm in trouble. But I want to make my dress. I want to make a dress out of this for myself. Um, petal signature cotton, designed by Inukshik, um, which might be like a play of words on Inukshik. I don't know. Um, but it's like four yards. Um, and it's really cool and I've been really kind of obsessed with like you know like they're like I guess it is a play on like a nookshik because like if you see the you know the little shape of like what the people are wearing I've been really obsessed with like paper dolls lately and I just felt like it was such a cute pattern that I'm like I'm gonna make a dress out of that so I'm gonna make like a little um you know just a cute little like pinafore style dress with this so I'll set that over there and hopefully I get to making it. 
Oh, and then I have a bunch of stuff here that you're not interested in that are for my kids. Clothing and such. Because I found some great, like, dry fit um, clothes for my daughter. And she's doing lots of camping. So um, then I found this doily that I'm going to try to use for coffee dyeing. It's like a plasticky... It's a vinyl doily for sure, but it was a quarter, so I thought, sure, I will use that for dyeing. That's great. Then, let me just pick up this, oops, get Samson out of the way here. Um, stay, stay there. Just picking up this bag. So then I found, which I almost never find, rolls of um, old seam binding. Lovely old seam binding. So I've got a brown and um, like a really deep, deep, almost, I don't know if it's a deep chestnut brown. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then this one is like a really pretty mauve gray, like a mousy gray color. And then I found this, um, this is a package of, I think it might be just like a little poster board. Yeah, like just little, like thick white kind of cards and then oh no hold on it's glossy so it's it's photo paper yeah so these are photo paper yeah which is great they're amazing to use with alcohol ink i've been really like i've been grabbing a few packs of these i don't need any more that's the last one I'm, I'm gonna get for a while um and then i found this um these are kind of cool so they're like scallop cards and envelopes and I really just like oh this looks neat so there's like three packages of eight in here and it was a dollar fifty so it's a lot of uh, stuff for a dollar fifty and I guess you can like coordinate these you can print on them if you want to I don't see myself doing that but these are the cards and they're like so cute right and they they're just like a single. Yeah, they're a single. So, you know, you could really put like a nice little journal card and have it be framed with this fun scalloped silver edge. So, yeah, I thought those are so cute. I will definitely, you know, give them a home. I'm going to take them all out of this packaging because I like to organize my things in like these wooden boxes. And I, oh, and then there's, there's the envelopes too, the little silvery envelopes. I like to organize them like and have all my stuff in these neat and tidy wood boxes um, so I don't get all messy. Okay then I found these fun uh, doilies these like napkin doilies and I just thought they had a really cute vintage pattern on them for 80 cents. I was like sure those are really cute. So those over here and then I found these really cute stamps so um oh okay I didn't even know I got these ones it's weird I don't even think that I got charged for those this must have been stuck together I don't know because I haven't even seen these before um I saw this it looks like there's a piece of tape there they must have been stuck together but as I was unpacking they got torn apart or something I don't know I only paid for this one though and I love this it's called autumn leaves clear stamps doodle tabbed by Tia Bennett look how cute these are these stamps aren't they amazing I thought they were so cute and these I didn't even realize I got they're called messy dates by Rana Ferrar Ferrer yeah um weird i think these were definitely stuck together because i wouldn't have gotten the date ones i don't really need more numbers and dates and things um and then i got this uh i'm like so i, I like don't pay attention when i'm thrifting it's so bad um i think a lot of us are like that we're just like oh look at this look at that you know so these are like little a uh, little 50 cent card stock rainbow of little card stocks and I just thought those were so cute like you know they're a quick little thing that you could stamp on use it as um you know a little add-in a little tuck spot for when you need a little thing you could make a ticket with it you could stamp on it like do a little mini collage if you want to but yeah I just thought it was a fun little size so I had to grab that 
And then there's also the tags too, and they're from Recollections, the tags. I don't think these are though. These are just, I don't know where they're from. Oh, they are Recollections, I'm sorry. So yeah, this is a little rainbow of tags as well. Um, and they were 80 cents. And then I saw this cute little, the old Island Stamp Company stamp of Sweet Little Bird. The artist is Emily Hull. And this is what the stamp looks like. It's this little bird with a little wreath under it. Right there. Super cute. From Lions Bay, BC here in Canada. Oldislandstamps.com. Oldest Land Stamps. Okay. Cute. Um, and then I got one other stamp that was really, really cute. They had a ton of stamps. I mean, a ton. And I don't normally buy a lot of woodblock stamps because I'm trying not to like really collect a ton of them. I, I don't need them. I have so many stamps that are, um, you know, the little, the little cling stamps, but I just couldn't say no to this one. It's so cute, right? I was like, it's like a little cuckoo clock. I can't not get that one. I don't think it's ever been used. I don't see any ink anywhere on it. Well, maybe a little tiny there. So maybe it's been used once, but this is from Inka Dinka Do. It probably came from Michael's. It was probably like $20 from Michael's and I got it for 80 cents. So we will add that to my little wood, my little wood shelf. And then this is the other one that I picked up because I just, I have a real love for seagulls. I know a lot of people don't really like seagulls, but I love them. Like I love them so much and pigeons too. Um, speaking of pigeons, if you have nothing else to do, please Google search Toronto creamsicle orange pigeon. Oh my God. I can't even explain to you how excited I am. I want to go see this pigeon. Somebody saw it. It's like one of those, you know, those pigeons that they get the beautiful, like first you get the magical white pigeons, right? And then you get the even more magical pinky gray kind of ones. And then some of them get even a little more pink. This one looks like, you know, how like flamingos eat shrimp and they turn like that orangey pink color. Oh my gosh. It's like a flamingo pigeon, <laughs> but it's creamsicle orange. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So yeah, this little, uh, little seagull friend. I like, I like him. Um, and then I found this thing. I don't even know what the heck it is, but yellow tags were like 50%, 75% off today at the store. They were having 75% off of like several things. It was weird. Yellow tags. And I didn't find a lot that had a yellow tag. Like a lot of these little bitty things did that I got. Um, but like, I think three or four different clothing articles had 75% off today. I don't know what was going on. They were doing something in the store. They're like, they had these great big sheets over a bunch of clothing racks. So maybe there was a leak in the roof or they were doing a renovation. So they were trying to pare things down. I don't know, but I'm happy to get 75% off. Um, so has anyone ever seen this before? The Fiskars texturing tool. And it looks like they're holding it over this blue plate that has an indentation on it. And these little knobby things, it's like you would rub them over it and it would texture your paper like a, an old fashioned way of embossing. And you know, the funny thing is, I think I have some of these little plates because I got something that looked kind of like a flower press and that's actually what I use it for. But it came with a bunch of plates that look exactly like this. So that's what caught my attention was actually this plate because I have it. I have, I think, four of these blue plastic plates um, over in my uh, like my little this area of my studio where I keep things and I use the holder they came in as a flower press. I put a bunch of pieces of paper and cardstock inside it and uh, yeah, it, it works really well for that. So I guess these are like grips and you, you'd be doing that. Hmm. Yeah. If you're going to just play with it and see what it is, I'm also wondering like what kind of texturing it would do. Like it, it obviously makes little lines. So yeah, let's, I want to play with it. I also got thinking about experiments that I was doing last week with crayons, how something like this could, uh, texturize that. So yeah, that one was just a one off weird, weird situation. And then I found a little bag of eyelets, which I could never have enough eyelets. I'm always using them and it was $1.50 and there's a bunch of different colors and two sizes in there. 
so those will go into my eyelet bin over here. Um, and then I got a little pack of tea lights because I need some more tea lights for um, my wax seals. I actually somehow ran out of like tea lights. Like, I don't know, did we all go through the candle buying stage and you had like 8,000 candles in your house and now none of us really burn candles very often? I don't know. <laughs> I have too much paper in this house now. I'm like, oh, I'm not burning a candle unless I'm being, I'm being managed. So more of the old seam binding. This is like a champagne kind of flushy, you know, Caucasian-y flush tone, <laughs> pinky tone. Um, and this is like a really pretty oceany blue. And then a little brown, kind of like the other one, a little different though. Yeah, a little lighter, like a steely gray brown. Um, and then a few more eyelets. I got these ones too. They're like little red scalloped eyelets. They're so cute. And, oh, and there's another one of those random stamps that, um, this one has like little garden pots and a shovel. And that was another one my daughter found in the parking lot across the street. So yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I kind of looked around at the cars to see if I could see anybody else packing up their stuff, thinking like I would say, hey, did you drop these? But there was nobody there. So I'm gonna grab one more bag, hold on. Okay, sorry, I just um, have this set across the, <laughs> the room a little bit. Like I said, this was a bit of a thrifty, uh, a little bit of a thrifty Thursday. Oh geez, but it's because of where I went today. I don't go there very often and I just had to like drop in because I haven't been to these a uh, couple stores I went to in ages. So you know what happens. But it's actually good because the stuff I got is actually things that like I need them and like I use them frequently and I can easily put them all away like I was going to buy tea lights and then of course I got some so and this stuff I have so my 90 drawer cabinet I have one drawer that's for seam binding and as I was uh, going through this morning because I finished a journal I was like oh my seam binding is getting a little you know lower and my bias tape so yeah I'm happy I found these because I use a lot of this kind of stuff for journal closures and some other things like I mean I also use it for um like sewing garments and blankets and things okay what's next um let me see okay is that all my thrifty stuff let me look around let me look around okay it is all that's all my thrifty stuff I'm not too I'm not too awful I, I've been not too bad right then I also um, because I was in the area of where the ever lovely Nancy of wishes and weeds lives um, we've been trying to coordinate for like a couple of weeks but between her schedule and my schedule like I think we're both just you know taxed we have a lot so she's downsizing and um, moving her her studio space in her home so she said hey do you need some paper and like you know I think I have this book that you'd really like and then she she hadn't shown me the book in the first bit of the conversation and so I said oh yeah like I'll, I'll let you know when I'm up your way and you know maybe we'll get together like we'll try to you know connect so she's like okay yeah uh, you know I'll fill your I'll fill your trunk with paper if you if you stop by so then she shared the other day just a couple of pictures with me of this book Amaranth the Flora and Fauna of Atlantis by a lady botanist um, by Una Woodruff so first she shared the pictures and then she's like hey would this book interest you I just donated a bunch of books and like you know I couldn't get rid of this one because I thought you would have to have it in your life and I was like oh my god I was like I was about to say I'm you know adopt me and we will merge libraries because oh my gosh so this book is just unbelievable let me get to the good stuff although I'm so interested to read this book like I'm really fascinated by this woman look at her work so it's like botany fantasy you know like there's I don't think I'll be able to cut this up I I really don't I mean I it's half it has to go to my library I'm so speechless this is just unreal so I need to learn everything about this woman and I know I have a few people who follow 
my thrifty thursdays specifically just because of my book finds because i tend to have pretty decent luck at finding beautiful books this one i can only credit nancy because um yeah she is the lovely giver of this book and i i mean if i needed another reason to say i love her if it wasn't just for her inspiration and what a kind wonderful person she is um yeah like what a beautiful book to gift someone right i, I couldn't believe she would part with such a beautiful book and i really appreciate that <laughs> thank you nancy and thank you also for the amazing box boxes of goodies that she shared with me i won't show that to you right now because i just got home and it's sort of in boxes and it's hanging around uh, my my floor here in, in the box is still and i haven't looked through it and i think it would take a while to kind of go through it all um but yeah i i will be using some things so i'll probably be mentioning where they came from um and that's my thrifty thursday for today so I found lots of good stuff and I, I have to say I didn't spend too much. I'm pleased with that. I think the most I spent was on the fabric which is actually to make myself a dress and I do need to make some um, some pinafore dresses because I've just been kind of like I need some dresses. I like it's gonna be spring soon I keep telling myself except that we drove home in a snow squall tonight so <sighs> hope right <laughs> so anyways thank you for joining me and i hope you have a wonderful day and that the thrifty fairies are with you and you're finding some good things for your work so we'll talk again real soon and take care bye for now